All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your Windows 10 PC using DS4 Windows as your primary driver. And for this process, we're going to need three downloads in order to get this to work properly, and then that should be it. So the first thing we need to do is go to the DS4 Windows website. If you look up DS4 Windows, you will find the releases here at the top for some other websites. You don't want to go to those. You want to find the Ryochan 7 GitHub page. That is the official download for the driver right now. So go ahead and open that bad boy. And here we're going to download two things. The first thing you're going to want to download is the .NET framework, which is what the app runs on, which is from Microsoft. So download the .NET 8 desktop runtime 64-bit edition here at the top. And we'll just put all those together in the same folder that I've pre-made for DS4 Windows. And then the next thing you want to grab is DS4 Windows latest version, either the zip version or the 7-zip version of the X64 edition. Um, I have 7-zip, so I could grab that, but for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just do the zip version. And we'll download that as well. Now, once you've got both of those, we're going to need the Vision Bus driver from Nefarious Software Solutions. Once again, I don't know who runs this website, but it's not related to the developer. What you want is down here on GitHub, releases Nefarious Vision Bus. Here, just grab the most recent version. There's only one, can't miss it, right here. And then give that a download as well. And then we'll just go ahead and open the folder that all of these programs are hanging out in. So the first thing we'll install is the .NET Framework from Windows. Go ahead and give that a double click. All of these little installers are just quick install wizards. They'll just run you through the process. Go ahead and complete those. I don't need to do that because I already have them installed. But this is what the authentic versions of these install wizards look like, just so you know, in case you were concerned that you downloaded the wrong version from the wrong website. Once you've got both of those downloaded and installed, we'll just open up the DS4 Windows folder and extract that to a file of the same name using WinRAR, uh, WinZip, or 7-Zip. And then open that bad boy up, and the program that we want to run once we've got everything else installed is this rainbowy logo DS4 Windows icon right here. It says it's an application. And if all was installed correctly, you should see a pop-up window that looks like this. So DS4 Windows occasionally has a hiccup or two, and you have to delete it and then reinstall it. The easiest way to do that is to leave all of the different program files in the program folder with the application. Otherwise, you got to hunt around in your app data folder where a lot of other stuff gets installed, and it's just a pain in the butt. It's easier just to put it in the program folder, which is what I'm going to do. After that, you're going to get this window that pops up. This is important. This is selecting which devices you want to have current active compatibility with in DS4 Windows. By default, it's meant for the PlayStation 4 controller, but you can set it up to work with the PlayStation 5 controller, which is the DualSense controller here, which I will select. You can also have it work with the Switch Pro controller, the Joy-Cons, or the PlayStation 3 controller, although that part requires an extra driver. So for right now, I'm just going to enable DualSense device support, this little option right here, check that. Uh, the DualSense is just the other name for a PlayStation 5 controller, in case you're curious. Whereas DS4 stands for DualShock, which is the PS4 controller. You can uncheck the PS4 controller support if you want. I've never really found it necessary, so I'm just gonna select DualSense and then click Close. The next thing that should pop open is the DS4 Windows window itself. And from here, all you have to do to get this bad boy working is plug in your PS5 controller to your Windows PC, and it should pop open on this list once it is fully, you know, initialized on your system. Because sometimes it takes Windows a second to be like, oh yeah, that's a controller, all right. It should say dual sense, and then you can change the color of this of the front lights on it anytime you want by clicking on this little light bar and clicking use custom color 
Then you can select whatever color you want from the color picker. Like you can have like a yellow if you want. And then from here, you should be good to go. You should be able to leave this running, either minimized or just open on your desktop. And this will function as a driver for your controller to work with all of your favorite uh, Windows games. If you'd like to connect this uh, instead of with a cable, but would rather have it plugged in or not plugged in, but connected with Bluetooth, you can do that. The way that you do that is first unplug this controller, then open up your Bluetooth settings window for Windows, and then press and hold on the PlayStation button in the center of the controller and the pill shaped button in the upper left hand corner of the touchpad. Press and hold on those until the light bar on the front starts to flash rapidly, like you're at a go go disco dance. Once it does so, click on the Add Bluetooth or Other Devices button here at the top, click on Bluetooth, and then it should show up as a wireless controller here. Um, I don't know why they just say controller. It says the same thing on PlayStation 4, so you're not really sure what you're clicking on. But I only have one available to connect to right now, so that's the one that I want, and then I'll click Done. You'll know that it works because if you open up DS4 Windows again, it should appear here in the list and you can change the color to make sure the color change matches up with the controller sitting in your hand. Now, fair warning, the way that this works is DS4 Windows pretends that your PlayStation 5 controller is an Xbox controller because that's the controller that is compatible with the largest number of games. Uh, if you'd like to try to get it to display PlayStation 4 games, or, or not games, but PlayStation 4 buttons, all you have to do is click Edit here, and then in the tab over here, above this little thing that says Controls, click Other, and then at the top of this little menu, it says Virtual Controller Setup. You want to emulate, instead of an Xbox 360 controller, you want to emulate a DualShock 4 controller. And then click Save here at the top, and then it should now read as a PlayStation controller on your system. Some games have the ability to display PlayStation 4 slash 5 buttons. A lot of them don't. So if this breaks your ability to use the controller in the game, you can re undo this by hitting edit again, going back to this tab here at the top that says other, and then switching it back to an Xbox 360 controller and then hitting save. You're not going to really be able to make full use of the fancy, you know, haptic triggers on this, the dual stage triggers that are really nice when playing X or uh, PS5 games like Returnal. Um, there's not really a way around that unless you find a game that has full PlayStation 5 support on like Steam. There are several games that do like Helldivers 2 is one of them. You can also play Returnal on Steam, which is one of my favorites to use this for. So. That'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at how to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your Windows 10 PC using DS4 Windows. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps. If you are made a bunch of changes to your settings in DS4 Windows and you no longer see your controller, make sure that this says stop at the bottom, because if the program is currently stopped, then it won't show anything, so you gotta click start in order to get it to show stuff. To be running properly. So just make sure that that's, you know, this says stop at the bottom. Otherwise, it's not started. So yeah, hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.